Have you ever felt like you don't want to sell your token? because you know the value is gonna go up in the future, but you also want to make some passive income and earn some yield, not just hodling. I ran into the same problem with Solana. The price has been skyrocketing and it is not planning to stop anytime soon. So how can I keep my Solana while still having the fun to earn extra yield and get some more capital efficiency out of it? Well, today I'm going to show you how to take advantage of Parrot.Fi and how to leverage your asset and LP tokens. Hello everybody, my name is Nugget and welcome to the channel where we navigate the world of DeFi and show you how to make passive income with crypto. So Parrot.Fi is a lending protocol on the Solana blockchain which let you collateralize not just your SOL token, but you can also borrow against your LP position, meaning you can deposit your LP tokens and borrow PI. PI, P-A-I, is pretty much a stable coin minted by Parrot.Fi. I know it's weird to use other stable coin beside USDT or USDC, but PI is safely backed by collateral that is deposited into the protocol. If you have used the Polygon blockchain before, you might have heard of Qidao and the My Stablecoin or Dai from MakerDAO. So the way this stablecoin Pi works is pretty much the same. When you deposit your collateral, Parrot lets you mint as much Pi as the minimum collateral ratio allows. And when you repay the Pi that you borrow, that Pi will be burned which protects the value of Pi from being inflated. So I think the benefit of using this protocol is pretty clear. You leverage your assets to borrow against them and use that money to earn you more yield by either buying more of the assets you currently have or speculating on something else or simply just do some yield farming with stable coins. Capital efficiency is what Parrot.Fi aims to provide to everyone. All right, let me give you a quick walkthrough and show you how to use Parrot.Fi. So when you go to Parrot.Fi, you are welcome with a beautiful Parrot. We are on the Mint tab as default, which lets you quickly deposit and borrow. Let's go to the Vault tab and see what they are offering. So at first, it looks like these are liquidity pairs that you see from other farms, but they are actually deposit and mint pairs. So the first token represent what you can deposit and the second tokens represent what you can mint or borrow. You can also deposit LP token from other protocols such as Mercurio Finance, Sabre or Radium to borrow Pi. There are some other special vaults that I haven't done research on, so I'll probably go over them in the next video. For example, if you want to deposit Solana and borrow Pi, click on mint and type in how much Solana you want to deposit. So as you can see here, I already deposit 3.8 Solana and I have already borrow 300 Pi. So when you deposit and you haven't borrow anything, it'll show you the maximum amount of Pi you can borrow, which is max mint over here. Uh, it's telling me that I can mint even 94 more pi, but it'll put me pretty close to, um, as you can see here, 150% collateral ratio. Uh, the minimum is 150%, so I wouldn't suggest you go um, to the max limit of this. So uh, it's pretty neat that it's telling you the current price of Solana, which is 156. And then this is my liquidation price based on how much debt I have. So obviously if you don't borrow as much as I do, then the liquidation price will be a lot. So you, just, you can just deposit first. You don't have to mint right away. So just go ahead and type in something you wanna deposit, hit mint and then approve. Once you approve your transaction, it'll show you the max mint right here. And then you can play around with the slider over here. Depends on your risk tolerance or how active you are. Active you are with checking the price or, you know, if you're pretty active, then you can be a DGen like me and uh, put this uh, pretty close to um, pushing the limit. 
but if you uh, don't have a lot of time to hopping on and off with DeFi, then uh, I suggest you just go 25% or even 50%. Just keep in mind of the liquidation price. Let's say you decided the amount that you want to borrow, type it in, hit mint again, and then approve go out here it'll tell you the liquidation price it'll basically tell you when solana reached to this price then your position will be liquidated and i think there's a liquidation fee so you probably don't want that to happen so let's say if it comes too close to the liquidation price then you can go ahead and repay some of the pie you don't have to repay all of it just repay some of it to keep your collateral ratio healthier and less scary not too close to the red so i'll probably repay soon here after this video but yeah once you repay everything then you can go ahead and withdraw your collateral if you want to you don't have to you can just keep borrowing and uh, utilize the stable coin that you just borrow so over here you see that the borrow rate is 0.2 percent this is annual so that's pretty cheap really really cheap capital to borrow imagine paying 22 percent for a credit card or whatever but yeah so over here you see that there's no liquidation price for this usd if you deposit usdc it's pretty much because usdc is pretty stable right so i guess they just don't want to liquidate you or there's no need to liquidate you and uh you see here there are two pools of usdc this one has earned so basically when you deposit your USDC here, your USDC will be utilized in other protocol and will earn you some yield. So imagine depositing here, borrowing your money, and then come back and see that the amount that you deposit increase. That's pretty cool. So why there, like why wouldn't anyone just deposit here instead of deposit in this pool, not earning any yield? I think it depends on the debt ceiling. Like each pool, they only allow to mint certain amount of pie. So I guess if you can't mint over in this pool, then just um, deposit here and borrow pie from this, this pool instead. But yeah, everything is pretty self-explanatory. All right, what about depositing your LP token? So as you can see here, this is Mercurial Finance LP, this is Saber LP, and this is Radium LP. And underneath that, it tells you which pool that you have to deposit in order to get that token to use it here. So um, right here, there is a Mercurial stable pool. You can see here, um, what, is it, what is it? USDC, USDT, and UST. So right here, USDC, USDT, and UST. So you deposit your, your stable here. I believe you don't have to split them up. Just put in whatever and then the pool will do its magic. Uh, it'll basically sell you USDT and buy the equivalent amount for these two. And then it'll just auto balance everything for you. And then once you deposit in this pool, you receive an LP token. Go ahead, bring that LP token over here. Hit mint and then deposit just like earlier. I show you up there. Or if you want to farm with Solana USDC in Radium, then head over to Radium. Launch app. Liquidity. So what is it? Solana and USDC. Go ahead and deposit your Solana and USDC here. So let's say if you want to deposit 20 bucks in here, you have to put 10 bucks worth of Solana and 10 bucks worth of usdc here that's just how automated market maker works after you provide liquidity so put in the amount and then hit um, deposit and approve it it'll give you these lp token go ahead and take those lp token there go here deposit it and borrow some pie if you don't want to then you can farm with it but we'll talk about farming in radium uh, later but yeah that's pretty much it pretty simple right um, leveraging nothing crazy just don't get wrecked keep your collateral ratio extremely healthy i'd say but yeah that's pretty much how you use paired finance that's how i use it you can check out other vault but i don't know what they are yet so can't show you in this video okay i just found this new faq document from paired discord um basically just um give you more information about other special vault that we saw so if you want to learn more about those i'll leave the link down in the description below 
let's talk about a few information that you should know about this protocol. So, has Scope been audited? Yes, it has been audited by Allborn Security. The team members are anonymous. Um, Parrot Protocol also had a seed funding of $5 million. So I don't think they are planning to rug and the discord community is extremely active and very helpful I had a few questions regarding parrot and they were able to help me right away So from what I see parrot is a pretty solid project and I'm excited for the IDO that is happening right now I'm not participating in it because it's a bit overpriced at the moment It's probably gonna dump after the IDO and then I'll jump in to buy some that's all for this video. If you find this helpful, I would appreciate you hitting the like button and subscribe for more content about DeFi. For the next video, I'll be sure to share some strategies that you can earn passive income in the Solana ecosystem, as well as places where you can use the Pi token that you borrow from Pair.Fi today. Before I go, just want to remind you to pay attention to your collateral ratio and liquidation price. Only invest what you can afford to lose. This information is not financial advice, so always do your own research. Thank you for watching. I'm Nugget, and I will see you next time.